very brazen and it shocked me. You could fill a small library with details and rumors from Marlon Brando's private life. The Studley movie star was known as a womanizer. He engaged in numerous affairs with women and occasionally men. Brando acknowledged his bisexuality, stating, Like a large number of men, I too had had homosexual experiences, and I am not ashamed. His openness about his sexuality was uncommon for actors of his time, and even his ex wife has revealed all the juicy details. Indeed, it often begins with their childhood, doesn't it? While we witnessed his macho persona on screen, Marlon Brando's real-life demeanor was quite different. Brando's upbringing was fraught with challenges, contributing to his rebellious behavior. The depth of Marlon Brando's emotional turmoil extended far beyond the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, rooted in a childhood marked by profound trauma and familial dysfunction. Born in Omaha in the spring of 1924, Brando, affectionately known as Bud, experienced the idyllic beauty of nature and the nurturing love of his mother, Dodie Pennebaker. Brando, amidst the wheat fields and open landscapes of his early years, Dodie, with her artistic soul and profound appreciation for the world's beauty, instilled in young Bud a deep love for nature and a keen sense of wonder for the magic of the universe. Yet this idyllic upbringing was marred by the dark shadow of Marlon Brando Sr., a traveling salesman whose miserliness, alcoholism, and simmering rage cast a pall over the Brando household. The relationship between father and son was fraught with tension and fear, with Brando Sr.'s explosive tirades instilling a sense of blame, shame, and punishment that bore no relation to their supposed transgressions. Dodie, though she attempted to shield her son from his father's wrath, found herself powerless in the face of Marlon Sr.'s relentless anger and emotional abuse. For Brando, the absence of paternal love and the omnipresent threat of his father's rage left indelible scars on his psyche, shaping his tumultuous relationships and tumultuous personal life. Dodie, overwhelmed by the anguish of her circumstances, turned to alcohol and attempted suicide, further deepening the emotional wounds inflicted upon her son. Despite his later fame and success, Brando remained haunted by the specter of his father's tyranny, a relentless force that overshadowed his formative years and left him grappling with profound emotional turmoil. The explosive firecracker that was Marlon Brando bore the scars of a childhood marked by trauma and dysfunction, shaping the man behind the iconic roles and indelible legacy. Marlon Brando's rebellious spirit and complex relationships were woven into the fabric of his tumultuous upbringing, marked by defiance, trauma, and a quest for identity. From a young age, Brando exhibited a propensity for rebellion, carrying a knife and engaging in acts of vandalism that underscored his simmering discontent. His tumultuous relationship with his mother, Dodie, was fraught with the shadow of Marlon Sr.'s violence and alcoholism, culminating in a harrowing incident where Bud vowed to protect his mother from further harm. Sent off to Shattuck Military Academy in Minnesota in a bid to quell his rebellious tendencies, Brando found solace in drama classes and the mentorship of Duke Wagner, a figure who would play a pivotal role in shaping his artistic journey. However, their relationship was shrouded in mystery, its true nature obscured by the passage of time. Brando's fluid sexuality and non-judgmental attitude towards others' sexual orientations became apparent during his time at the Academy, where he forged connections and explored his own desires without inhibition. Expelled from the Academy but undeterred in his pursuit of artistic expression, Brando ventured to New York City to immerse himself in the vibrant world of theater. Under the tutelage of Stella Adler, a luminary of the American stage, Brando found a nurturing environment where his talent flourished. Adler's commitment to fostering a modern, naturalistic approach to acting resonated deeply with Brando, who embraced her teachings and found solace in her mentorship.
In Stella's class, Brando not only honed his craft, but also discovered a sense of belonging among his peers, many of whom were Jewish. Immersed in Yiddish culture and traditions, Brando found himself drawn to the rich tapestry of Jewish life, which broadened his horizons and deepened his understanding of the world. His relationship with Ellen, Stella's daughter, offered a glimpse of stability amidst the tumult of his personal life. Yet Brando's insatiable appetite for sex and adventure drove him to pursue fleeting pleasures with reckless abandon. As Brando navigated the complexities of fame and desire, he grappled with the ghosts of his past and the demons that haunted him. Compelled by an irrepressible urge for sexual gratification, Brando sought solace in the arms of women and men alike, indulging in a hedonistic lifestyle that brought both pleasure and pain. Yet, amid the chaos of his affairs and the wreckage left in his wake, Brando remained steadfast in his pursuit of artistic excellence, channeling his inner turmoil into unforgettable performances that would define his legacy for generations to come. He embarked on a journey to hone his craft, making his debut in the 1944 play I Remember Mama. From there, Brando's career soared to new heights as he secured roles in acclaimed films such as A Streetcar Named Desire, The Men, The Wild One, Desiree, and On the Waterfront, the latter earning him his first Academy Award. Despite his early success, the 1960s marked a period of decline for Brando, with his movies failing to resonate with audiences and his behavior on set drawing criticism from co-stars for his temperamental outbursts and refusal to adhere to scripts. However, Brando's fortunes took a dramatic turn in 1972 with the release of The Godfather, a film that revitalized his career. Despite initial reluctance from Paramount Studios to cast him due to his recent string of flops and reputation for being difficult to work with, director Francis Ford Coppola insisted on giving Brando a chance. The decision paid off handsomely, as The Godfather became a monumental success, earning Brando his second Oscar, which he controversially declined to accept. Instead, he sent Native American activist Sasheen Littlefeather to decline the award on his behalf, citing his objections to Hollywood's portrayal of Native Americans. In her statement, Sasheen Littlefeather eloquently conveyed Marlon Brando's principled stance against the misrepresentation of Native Americans in the film industry. By declining the prestigious award on his behalf, she highlighted Brando's unwavering commitment to social justice and his refusal to compromise his beliefs for accolades. His decision to forego the Oscar served as a powerful rebuke to the Hollywood establishment, underscoring his dedication to advocating for marginalized communities. Despite encountering both triumphs and tribulations throughout his career, Brando remained steadfast in his pursuit of authenticity and integrity in his work. His iconic performances and unapologetic defiance of societal norms cemented his status as a cinematic legend. It comes as no surprise that, even after his passing, Brando's enduring impact on the film industry led to his recognition as one of the greatest stars of the 20th century, a testament to his enduring legacy and influence. Throughout his life, Marlon Brando's romantic entanglements were as numerous as they were varied. With three marriages and had up to 15 children, Brando's personal life was marked by a series of relationships that captivated the public's fascination. It's been rumored that he would bring home a new companion almost nightly since he was 21, a testament to his legendary allure and charisma. However, it was his first marriage to Anna Kashfi that shed new light on Brando's complex character. Their union, precipitated by Anna's pregnancy, ended abruptly, revealing the tumultuous nature of their relationship. Anna's candid revelations in interviews and her book, Brando for Breakfast, offered a candid glimpse into the darker aspects of their marriage. Brando's behavior, marked by emotional and physical abuse, infidelity, and a lack of commitment, painted a troubling portrait of the acclaimed actor's personal life. Brando himself was candid about his views on monogamy, asserting, 
I don't think I was constructed to be monogamous. I don't think it's in the nature of any man to be monogamous. This philosophy manifested in his numerous extramarital affairs, which spanned across both genders. Remarkably, at a time when societal norms dictated discretion, Brando openly acknowledged his bisexuality, becoming one of the first celebrity actors to do so. Marlon Brando's candid remarks on homosexuality and his own experiences shattered societal taboos and challenged the prevailing attitudes of his time. He famously remarked, Homosexuality is now so much in fashion, it no longer makes news. A testament to his nonchalant attitude towards public perception. His open acknowledgement of his bisexuality, coupled with his assertion that he had never paid much attention to what people think about me, underscored his commitment to authenticity and self-acceptance. Brando's romantic escapades extended beyond traditional boundaries, transcending gender norms and societal expectations. His dalliances with other notable figures in the entertainment industry, such as Burt Lancaster, Rock Hudson, and James Dean, blurred the lines between friendship and romance. His agent, Edith Van Cleve, revealed Brando's penchant for seduction, noting that he sought to charm even his professional rivals, viewing the act as a strategic advantage. Among Brando's most notable relationships was his bond with Wally Cox, a friendship that sparked rumors of a deeper connection. As roommates and confidants, their closeness fueled speculation about the true nature of their relationship. However, Cox's untimely death brought an end to their companionship, leaving behind lingering questions about the extent of their intimacy. Brando's complex relationships extended beyond conventional boundaries, delving into realms of intense emotion and psychological intricacy. His profound connection with Wally Cox, in particular, transcended the confines of friendship, leaving an indelible mark on Brando's life. When Cox passed away, Brando preserved his ashes, harboring a poignant desire for their eventual mingling with his own. The profound impact of Cox's presence lingered long after his death, as Brando occasionally engaged in solitary conversations with his urn, cherishing memories of their shared moments. Reflecting on their bond, Brando mused, If Wally had been a woman, I would have married him and we would have lived happily ever after, underscoring the depth of their connection and the profound influence Cox wielded over his life. Another notable chapter in Brando's romantic saga unfolded with James Dean, a starry-eyed admirer enthralled by Brando's charisma. Despite Dean's fervent affection, their relationship took on a clandestine and tumultuous nature, marked by elements of sadomasochism and psychological gamesmanship. Dean's unrequited love stood in stark contrast to Brando's apparent detachment, leading some to speculate about the true nature of their dynamic. Alec Wilder, a mutual acquaintance, offered insight into their relationship, suggesting that while Dean may have been smitten with Brando, the feelings were not reciprocated in kind. In Wilder's estimation, Brando's self-absorption eclipsed any genuine affection for Dean. Amidst the whispers and speculations surrounding Marlon Brando's romantic liaisons, intriguing tales of his entanglements with notable figures have emerged, adding layers of complexity to his enigmatic persona. Among these rumors are dalliances with icons like Marvin Gaye and Richard Pryor, whispers that gained credence when Richard's late wife corroborated Quincy Jones's inadvertent revelation during an interview. Despite the scandalous nature of these revelations, Richard Pryor reportedly harbored no shame, illustrating the nonchalant attitude prevalent in Brando's circle. While Brando's romantic escapades have often been dominated by tales of his relationships with men, his interactions with women have also left an indelible mark on his legacy. Anna, his ex-wife, unveiled a trove of revelations about Brando's affairs shedding light on his multifaceted romantic life. Yet, amidst the myriad accounts, women of stature also found themselves entangled in Brando's orbit, Brando's sex-obsessed, Marlon.
Brando's legacy extends far beyond his iconic performances, delving into the realms of social norms and sexual liberation. Renowned for breaking binary rules, Brando felt no shame in his pursuit of both women and men, a testament to his defiance of societal conventions. His unapologetic approach to sexuality shattered barriers, challenging the rigid boundaries imposed by a conservative era. While Brando's impact on the acting world is undeniable, his rebellious nature and disregard for Hollywood's norms often overshadowed his artistic brilliance. Yet, beneath the veneer of fame and controversy, Brando's true passions lay elsewhere. In his fervent advocacy for social justice, as well as his insatiable appetite for women and sex. Author William J. Mann sheds light on Brando's candid views on sexuality in The Contender, the story of Marlon Brando, revealing the actor's unfiltered musings. Mann recounts Brando's candid admission that thoughts of intimacy often occupied his mind upon awakening, regardless of whether a woman lay beside him. Brando's insatiable desires led him to maintain a roster of different girlfriends for each day of the week, reflecting his unrestrained pursuit of pleasure. Unfazed by societal norms or moral constraints, Brando pursued his desires with fervor, even venturing into taboo territory by engaging in affairs with the wives of his friends. His clandestine escapades, marked by clandestine rendezvous and surreptitious entrees, added an element of thrill to his romantic pursuits. Moreover, Brando's sexual fluidity knew no bounds, transcending traditional labels and defying categorization. He embraced his attraction to both sexes with ease, rejecting the notion of guilt or shame associated with non-heteronormative desires. Marlon Brando's allure knew no bounds captivating individuals of all genders and sexual orientations with his magnetic charm and raw sexuality. From a young age, Brando exuded an undeniable appeal that transcended traditional labels and boundaries. During his time at Shattuck Military Academy, Brando's exploration of his sexuality took shape as he engaged in sexual encounters with other young men on campus. Such liaisons were not uncommon in the context of military schools, where notions of masculinity and sexual exploration often intersected. Brando himself acknowledged the fluidity of his sexual experiences, famously stating, Let's say sex has no sex, reflecting his nuanced understanding of human desire and intimacy. For Brando, Living authentically meant embracing sexual encounters with individuals of varying genders and orientations, without adhering to societal norms or expectations. Venturing beyond the confines of conventional relationships, Brando sought solace and exploration in Provincetown, an artist enclave on Cape Cod known for its progressive attitudes towards gender and sexuality. Here, amidst an environment where boundaries blurred and identities shifted, Brando found freedom in expressing his desires openly. Back in New York City, Brando's romantic escapades continued unabated as he juggled relationships with three distinct women, the elegant Ellen Adler, the nurturing Celia, and the captivating Blossom Plum. Yet even amidst this whirlwind of affairs, Brando's magnetic presence drew admirers wherever he went, with women at Grand Central Station unabashedly displaying their affection for him. One of Brando's most enduring relationships was with the petite, dark-eyed actress Rita Moreno, whose star rose alongside his own. Morno found herself irresistibly drawn to Brando's intoxicating aura, describing him as swag-erringly irresistible. Their passionate affair ignited Moreno's political consciousness, leaving an indelible mark on her soul. However, Brando's romantic entanglements were not confined to Moreno alone. He embarked on a passionate affair with Josanne Mariani, a young French woman, proposing marriage despite his lack of intention to follow through. Another figure was the former First Lady Jackie Kennedy, whose brief dalliance with Brando ignited headlines. 
Their rendezvous, mere months after the tragic demise of John F. Kennedy, hinted at a fleeting yet passionate connection, encapsulated in shared dinners, dances, and stolen kisses. Similarly, the luminous presence of Marilyn Monroe cast a spell over Brando, sparking a friendship that tantalizingly bordered on romance. Rumors swirled of clandestine trysts, supported by Brando's claims of a last conversation with Monroe just days before her untimely demise, shrouding their association in intrigue and mystery. Amidst the whirlwind of Marlon Brando's romantic escapades, tales of his dalliances with renowned personalities add intriguing layers to his complex persona. At the pinnacle of his fame, he embarked on an affair with Jackie Collins, following a fling with her older sister Joan, epitomizing his reputation as a charismatic womanizer. His magnetic charm extended beyond the silver screen, entwining him in relationships with various women, from Shelley Winters to Pierre Angeli, Nancy Kwan, and even Katie Jurado. Surprisingly, whispers abound of an affair with his co-star Vivian Lee and her husband, adding yet another dimension to his colorful romantic history. However, amidst these fleeting connections, one enduring relationship stands out, his tumultuous eight-year entanglement with Rita Moreno. Their union, characterized by passion and drama, captivated Hollywood's attention. Yet adversity often shadowed their love, with Rita's life even endangered at one point. Despite their tumultuous journey, they repeatedly found solace in each other's arms, defying the odds that sought to tear them apart. Yet Brando's heart remained elusive, tethered to a longing for true love that eluded him until he crossed paths with Jill Banner. What endeared her to him was her steadfast refusal to chase after him, a trait rare among his paramours. Their shared disdain for monogamy forged a deep connection, seemingly perfect for each other. However, the dynamics of their relationship took a heartbreaking turn when Jill, weary of Brando's mercurial ways, sought solace in the arms of his own son, inflicting a wound that cut deep into Brando's soul. Marlon Brando's journey was marked by a relentless pursuit of pleasure, a quest for identity, and a battle with inner demons that threatened to consume him. Reflecting on his tumultuous life, Brando confessed, I was killing myself and nearly killing everybody around me. Despite his outward bravado, Brando grappled with deep-seated insecurities and unresolved trauma stemming from his troubled childhood. Encountering his childhood friend, Wally Cox, in the bohemian enclave of Greenwich Village, Brando delved into the realm of sadomasochism, exploring the darker recesses of human desire. For Brando, Sexual fulfillment became a singular obsession, a fleeting refuge from the tumult of his inner turmoil. Yet beneath the veneer of sexual hedonism lay a soul haunted by the ghosts of the past. Years of psychotherapy offered fleeting respite from the gnawing anxiety and paralyzing depression that plagued Brando's psyche. Diagnosed as psychoneurotic and plagued by chronic anxiety, Brando grappled with the specter of his own fame, which cast a long shadow over his fragile mental state. Despite his aversion to the trappings of bourgeois life, Brando found solace in the arms of strong, passionate women who offered fleeting respite from the storms raging within. However, the specter of his father's tyranny loomed large, casting a pall over Brando's attempts to forge meaningful connections and find redemption. In his later years, Brando embarked on a journey of self-discovery and reconciliation, grappling with the weight of his familial legacy and the burdens of his own mortality. Confronting the demons of his past, Brando sought to break free from the shackles of his upbringing and embrace a newfound sense of compassion and forgiveness. Ultimately, Brando's legacy is one of complexity and contradiction, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit to transcend adversity and find redemption in the face of seemingly insurmountable odds. As he once remarked, the sins of the father had come back to haunt him, 
But in his struggle, Brando found a measure of peace, a glimmer of hope amidst the darkness that defined his tumultuous life. As we reflect on the life of Marlon Brando, we are confronted with a complex tapestry of triumphs and tribulations, passions and pain. His journey serves as a poignant reminder of the indomitable human spirit, capable of transcending the darkest depths of despair in pursuit of redemption and self-discovery. What aspects of Brando's life resonate with you the most? How do you perceive his legacy in the annals of cinematic history and for the LGBT community? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating content on iconic figures and the human experience.